Welcome to another edition of Pastor Kumui's Illustrations. Look at verse, um, verse 22. Then it pleased the apostles and the elders with the whole church to send chosen men of their own company to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas, namely Judas, surnamed Barsabbas, and Silas, chief men among the brethren, and they wrote letters by them. After this manner, the apostles and the elders and the brethren sent greeting unto the brethren, which are of the Gentiles in Antioch and Syria and Cilicia, for as much as we have heard that certain which went out from us have troubled you with what? Subverting your souls. Now, when somebody is starting a controversy, that is what he does. And members of this church, you need to be, you need to be understanding. You need to be very intelligent. Because there are people, they may, they may be from this church, they may be from outside the church. Whenever somebody is, call, is going to cause division, whenever somebody is going to cause disunity, he is not going to come to you and say, now, let us separate from this church. No. He's going to come to you in a soft manner, in a gentle manner, in a, in a quiet manner, and he's going to ask you some questions. Uh, how do you enjoy the church now? How do you see all these things that are going on in the church now? Uh, what do you think about all these things that the church, are, the church people are doing now? Aren't you praying for the church that God will rescue us from apostasy? Aren't you praying for the church that God will, you know, send us back to where we started? Aren't you praying that God, the Holy Ghost, in mercy, will spare this church? Because even though they are, you know, growing, they are becoming many, what do you think about this, their spiritual lives? You know, that's the way they are going to start. Uh, what do you think about the choir? What do you think about the message? What do you think about the praying? What do you think about the miracles? What do you think about all these testimonies that all these people are giving? Every time now, well, all that we just say is, um, you know, they are getting uh, healed, they are getting delivered, they are getting miracles, they are getting money. We don't hear testimony of this, we don't hear testimony of this, we don't hear testimony of that. Well, I hope you are praying for our church, our church, praying. What are you praying for, for the church? That God should help us stop all the testimonies. That there should be no miracles again. You see, that's how this God will start. That's how a bad thing will start. And when somebody comes to you in a quiet manner, in a slow manner, in a silent manner like that, it's already starting a controversy. And so they said, these brethren that came to subvert your souls, it will shift you. It will dislocate you. It will subvert your soul. It will make you thinking of, oh, there is a problem with the coordinator. There is a problem with the head usher. There is a problem with, uh, you know, the zonal leader. Now, the moment you begin to think about that, somebody is subverting your soul. Somebody is saying, look at how that uh, coordinator is behaving. Do you, uh, aren't you praying for him? Don't you think that this is wrong? Look at how the zonal leader is uh, behaving. Uh, inside you, aren't you praying for him? They are starting. That's controversy. That's division. Uh, look at, uh, you know, how, the, how they are managing the whole church now. What? Well, even the general superintendent now, we cannot call him bro anymore. He is now general superintendent. I think they will soon tell us to be calling him apostle. Well, let's be praying. If the church is not suitable for me, I'm looking for another church. You know, that's out of start. A controversy, a problem on something that is not essential, something that is not important. Just because of the dissatisfaction in the heart of that man, he wants to carry over that and destroy the whole church of thousands of people. You know, subverting the soul. It says in verse 24, for as much as we have heard, that certain which went out from us have troubled you with words, subverting your soul, saying, Ye must be circumcised and keep the law, to whom we gave no such commandment. There may be some people in the church. After we have finished our normal meeting, our Monday Bible study or Thursday Miracle Revival Hour, or we have finished the Sunday um, devotional worship, they will still get some 12, 15 people together in a corner somewhere and uh, say, well, 
they have uh, done their own let's come together and really seriously now seek the lord now come together and seriously seek the lord and then they go to one house somewhere not house fellowship not part of the church and then all that we have already taught they began to reteach everything in their own version and they begin to tell the the people they are collected together saying let us uh, let us consecrate to the lord that oh lord if all the thousands of bagara people are backsliding going into apostasy we are going to stand in jesus name 12 people all the rest of us we are backsliding and god happens to be using those of us preachers who are backsliding and god is not using these people who are holding on totally to the truth think about it all these things that the lord is doing in the crusades in the church everywhere they are not interested they are not interested they are controversy that now we're teaching people to to be neat and to do things that are right and to be presentable and godly and dignified in their appearance that, that's their problem that's their controversy and they bring all these people apart in a very small group and they're teaching them oh god we're going to be serious oh god we're going to be serious that's division my friend you're going astray when you're doing that and you are laboring on something that is not essential you, you are destroying yourself and destroying those people and if anybody has called a group of people like that you better come out of that because it's an absalom group and you know the case you know the case of absalom you know the end of absalom you know, it's a Judas Iscariot case. Judas Iscariot no more satisfied with even Jesus Christ. Think about it. Jesus was no more perfect. Jesus was no more dealing with him well. Jesus wasn't giving him enough money. And he must have a way of getting money by selling out Jesus Christ. What a shame. But you know, he said, you come out of that type of small group small association within the church a church within the church and he is the one that you know knows the right thing goes in the right direction if he happens to be a worker in the church uh, you know that he has already missed his way using his opportunity to be a worker in the church to subvert your soul to draw you aside to destroy you and to cut you away from the real church from the central church now in verse 25 it seemed good unto us being assembled with one accord the all these apostles were in real unity to send chosen men unto you with our beloved barnabas and paul men that have hazarded their lives for the name of our lord jesus christ i hope you have been blessed by this edition of pastor kumui's illustrations please don't let this illustration die. Pass it on to others and you could be of help to someone somewhere. Till we meet next week again for another edition of Pastor Kumui's Illustrations. Remain blessed.